McGill University's Life Sciences Complex is not only home to cutting-edge biomedical and cancer research, two new facilities within the complex are also models of innovative sustainable design and technology. The two new facilities, the Francesco Bellini Life Sciences Building and the Cancer Research Building, have been awarded LEED Gold certification for new construction from the Canadian Green Building Council. LEED, the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design program, is an internationally accepted benchmark for the design, construction and operation of environmentally friendly buildings. It's important to understand that the whole issue of sustainability is very important to uh, uh, the generation of people under 30 who have grown up in a world of concerns about the environment. Completed in 2008, the new facilities are the only university-owned laboratory buildings in Quebec to achieve a LEED Gold rating. The challenge of designing a wet lab research environment building as a LEED certified facility is perhaps more difficult than in other circumstances. It's a much more complicated building, for example, than an office building. It's traditionally a laboratory building is an energy hog. It's not an efficient energy building because of the huge air changes required for fume hoods. Fume hoods collect harmful vapors, resulting in significant airflow exchanges. In order to minimize energy waste, a night setback system and presence sensors were added to reduce the air change rate to acceptable minimum levels when a room is not in use. A heat recovery system using glycol runaround coils for all fresh air intakes was added, and the heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems are all equipped with variable speed drives to further reduce energy use. All occupied research spaces benefit from daylight. In fact, 75% of occupied space is naturally lit. Many occupants say they rarely need to turn on their lights. As a result, the building is 38% more energy efficient than the Canadian National Model Energy Code. Other innovative measures include a green roof. In addition to reducing energy consumption, it also mitigates the urban heat island effect. The building's water conservation features include a rainwater and grey water recovery system. Rainwater is captured from the building's roof and stored in a 50,000 litre cistern. The water is then used for toilets and urinals, cutting potable water consumption by half. 96% of construction-related waste was diverted away from landfill, and 30% of materials used contained post-consumer or post-industrial recycled content. The fact that we were able, with the project consultants, to achieve LEED certification for this building is a testimony to the expertise of the engineering firm Pajol Morel that designed the heat recovery and energy recovery systems. It's a testimony to the design innovation of the architect team as well, who together were able to put together a very high-performing building. The Life Sciences Complex, which includes the McIntyre Medical and Stewart Biology buildings, is home to world-class principal investigators, researchers, postdoctoral fellows and grad students from the faculties of medicine and science. A major goal of the design was to facilitate collaboration among these investigators. It's a great space, lots of light, and uh, but it's great also because I have all my colleagues that are next to me and we are able to share um, our expertise, we have common meetings, uh, the students get to know all other students in the lab and we share technologies and it's a really great environment for that. So one of the fundamental things that we wanted to do when this building was designed was to create spaces in the building, semi-public and public spaces, where that could happen. So alcoves in the corridors, uh, conversation spaces around nodal points of circulation where people could meet, talk, perhaps do a, a doodle on a chalkboard or a, or a blackboard, are things that are encouraged to, to favor that kind of academic exchange. The new buildings connect to existing buildings with glass linkages, further encouraging interaction among research disciplines. The entire design process relied heavily on the participation of the building's occupants, the researchers, and is considered to be a case study in both user satisfaction and sustainable design. And so from the university's point of view, the university has to demonstrate that it is being not only environmentally responsible, but that it is taking a leading position with respect to issues of sustainability. 
The fact that the university is able to build a building like this, which has LEED certification, I think is a very significant demonstration of that commitment on the part of the university.